Mills. I hope you're doing fine. I'm Teacher Joyce, your guide in learning mathematics today. After this video, you are expected to read and write money in symbols and in words through 100 pesos. I know that you have already learned reading and writing numbers in words and in symbols, right? Today, you will also learn how to read and write money. This lesson provides you an experience to read and write money we use in the Philippines. Money can be in coin or peso bills. The capital P, the BXP, or this sign are the symbols for peso. We call this a peso sign. And this sign is the symbol for centavo. We call this a centavo sign. A decimal point separates the pesos from centavos. Let's study these examples for you to understand it well. The following are the coins and peso bills we are using in our country. In number one, we say five centavos. If we write it in words, we write the words five, then centavos. And if we write it in symbols, we write first the amount, which is five, followed by a centavo sign. We read this as five centavos. In number two, we say ten centavos. If we write it in words, we write the words 10, then centavos. And if we write it in symbols, we write the amount first, which is 10, followed by a centavo sign. We read this as 10 centavos. And for number 3, we have the old 25 centavo coin and the new 25 centavo coin. We say 25 centavos. If we write it in words, we write the words 25, then centavos. And if we write it in symbols, we write the amount first, which is 25, followed by a centavo sign. We read this as 25 centavos. And for number 4, we have the old 1 peso coin and the new 1 peso coin. We say 1 peso. If we write it in words, we write the words 1, then peso. And if we write it in symbols, we write the peso sign first, then 1, followed by a decimal point, and two zeros. The two zeros indicate that there are no centavos. Again, we read this as 1 peso. And for number 5, we have also the old 5 peso coin and the new 5 peso coin. We say 5 pesos. If we write it in words, we write the words 5, then pesos. And if we write it in symbols, of course, we write first the peso sign, then the amount, which is 5, followed by a decimal point, and two zeros. Again, the two zeros indicate that there are no centavos. Again, we read this as five pesos. For number six, we have also the old 10 peso coin and the new 10 peso coin. We say 10 pesos. If you write it in words, we write the words 10, then pesos. And if we write it in symbols, we write first the peso sign, then the amount, which is 10, followed by a decimal point, and two zeros. We read this as 10 pesos. And for number 7, we have the 20 peso bill. We say 20 pesos. If we write it in words, we write the words 20, then pesos. And if we write it in symbols, of course, 
We write first the peso sign, then the amount, which is 20, then followed by a decimal point and two zeros. We read this as 20 pesos. And for number 8, we say 50 pesos. If we write it in words, we write the words 50, then pesos. And if we write it in symbols, first we write the peso sign, then the amount, which is 50, followed by a decimal point and two zeros. We read this as 50 pesos. And for number 9, we say 100 pesos. If you write it in words, we write the words 100, then pesos. And if you write it in symbols, we write first the peso sign, then the amount, which is 100, followed by a decimal point and two zeros. We read this as 100 pesos. And now, based on the given examples, have you noticed the placement of the peso sign and centavo sign? The peso sign is written first before the amount, while the centavo sign is written after the amount. Let's take a look on this another example. We have the 1 peso coin and 10 centavo coin. How do we write in words? We write 1 peso and 10 centavos. What about in symbols? How do we write? We write the peso sign first, then 1, followed by a decimal point, then 10 centavos. The decimal point separates the peso from the centavos. We read this as end, like this, 1 peso and 10 centavos. Again, 1 peso and 10 centavos. Another example, we have the 10 peso coin and the 25 centavo coin. How do we write in words? We write the words 10 pesos and 25 centavos. What about in symbols? How do we write? Of course, we write the peso sign first, then 10, followed by a decimal point, and 25. Again, the decimal point separates the pesos from centavos. We read this as end. We read this again as 10 pesos and 25 centavos. Another example, we have the 50 peso bill and the 10 centavo coin. How do we write in words? We write the words 50 pesos and 10 centavos. What about in symbols? How do we write? Of course, we write first the peso sign, then 50, followed by a decimal point, then 10. We read this as 50 pesos and 10 centavos. Based on the examples given, I know that you really understood how to read and write money in symbols and in words. In your activity sheet, there are several activities that you need to answer for you to learn and understand more about our lesson. And now for your first activity, the direction is write the amount in symbols. Example in number 1, we write these two pesos in symbols. How? First, of course, we write the peso sign, then the amount, which is 2, 
followed by a decimal point and two zeros. We read this as two pesos. Okay? And for your second activity, the duration is match column A with column B. Write the letter of your choice. Example in number one, we have the 10 centavos. How do we write it in words? So the correct answer is letter F. It's 10 centavos. So we write the letter F. Okay? Start answering now your activities. Good luck! I hope that you can answer your activities correctly. You may play again this video for you to master our lesson. But remember, money can be in coin or peso bills. This symbol means centavo, while this symbol means peso. A decimal point separates the peso from the centavo. It is read as N. The two zeros indicate that there are no centavos. Congratulations! You have finished our lesson successfully. I hope you have learned a lot. Again, I am Teacher Joyce, your guide in learning mathematics. Thank you! Bye!